Hey guys, thanks for clicking on my video. This video is going to cover the Zevil Island part of the Hunter exams and how I think it would go if Gon was raised in Meteor City. If you missed any of the story so far, check out my older videos or the playlist for this what if. But if you're all caught up or just want to start the video, let's go. With Gon now on the hunt, he carefully scouts the island for any trace of Hisoka. After a few hours of searching, Gon finds the dead body of a fellow applicant covered in Hisoka's playing cards. Gon knows he's on Hisoka's trail because of how recent the body seems to have been left here. Gon follows a trail of bloody footsteps he finds next to the body, leading to the mouth of a stream. He hides in the bushes, trying to keep his presence concealed the best he can as he sees Hisoka cleaning the blood off of him under a waterfall. Gon's heart pounds with anticipation as he sees Hisoka's clothes and badge laying on the ground beside the river. Gon debates to himself whether he should try to sneak up and take the badge without Hisoka noticing or if he'll even have time to reach it before Hisoka sees him. Gon knows Hisoka won't need much longer in the stream, so he takes a risk and runs out of the bushes and grabs the two tags laying on top of Hisoka's clothes. As Gon looks back at Hisoka, he sees the crazed clown smiling as he tries to sprint out the water and after Gon. Gon dashes past trees and shrubs, hoping to lose Hisoka or at least slow him down, but despite his best efforts, he can feel Hisoka's intense aura getting closer and closer. Gon leaps into a nearby tree, hoping to at least have the high ground as he tries to ready himself against Hisoka. He watches as Hisoka closes in, taunting Gon, saying, Are you the unlucky one that got my number? You must be. I know you're too smart to pick a fight with me if you didn't have to. Hisoka continues as he stands under the tree Gon is hiding in. If you come down now and impress me, I might let you live, but I'll still need my tag back. Gon tries to quietly open the bottle of alcohol he took from Tampa, but Hisoka's eyes shoot up to Gon's hiding spot. So, with the matches in his other hand, Gon pours the large bottle on Hisoka, soaking him in the alcohol. Then, Gon jumps out of the tree and lights a match, threatening to set Hisoka on fire if he gets too close. Hisoka laughs as he tries wiping the alcohol from his eyes. Really, I didn't expect such harsh tactics from you, Gon. I have to say I'm a little impressed. But what makes you think I can't reach you before that match reaches me? Gon silently stands his ground, daring Hisoka to make a move. Hisoka tries casually stepping forward, so Gon quickly tosses the match at Hisoka, who instantly jumps back to a safe distance. Gon relights a second match, telling Hisoka, I told you to stand back and I'm not going to warn you again. Go back to the river and clean yourself off before I end you. Hisoka starts sizing up Gon and again tries rushing in for an attack. So Gon takes the last sip of the alcohol and spits it at the flaming match, sending a large gust of fire at Hisoka, who is only able to stop the blaze by using his bungee gun to catch the flame without touching any of his body. Gon, who is shocked and confused by Hisoka seemingly stopping the fire in midair, decides his only choice is a direct attack, hopefully catching Hisoka off guard. But, Gon is easily stopped by a stiff punch to the face, forcing him to the ground. Hisoka compliments Gon's efforts as he kicks the matches out of his hand and starts looking through the tags Gon has collected. Today's your lucky day, Gon. It seems you found my tag for me already. Hisoka flashes Tampa's badge at Gon, then puts it in his pocket claiming it as his own. So Gon, I'll cut you a deal. Since you brought me my badge, we'll do a trade. I'll let you keep your badge and mine, I'll take the two extra badges, you'll get your six points and I'll have four. I'm not worried about finding two more, it should be easy and it'll give me something to do while I wait for the next few days. Gon starts to stand, angered by Hisoka's condescending tone. I'd rather you take all my tags than let me have yours. If you don't take me seriously, I promise you're gonna regret it. Hisoka again quickly rushes Gon and knocks him to the ground. I like you Gon, so I won't kill you this time. I'll let you grow stronger until you're actually a threat to me. And then, when you're in your prime, I'll gladly kill you. Now, keep the badge until you're strong enough to land a hit on me. When you do that, I'll show you what it's like when I'm actually trying to hurt you. Gon again struggles to his feet, but by the time he's able to stand, Hisoka is nowhere to be seen. Gon is left alone 
and although he accomplished his goal of getting his Sokus tag, he was completely beaten and outclassed by his opponent. Gon eventually meets up with Killua, who has already grabbed his target's badge and three others, just for fun. Gon tells Killua about his encounter with Hisoka, and how mad he was about Hisoka letting him have the tag and treating him like a joke. Killua offers to spar with Gon for the next few days, saying, any practice is good practice, and it's going to be boring waiting for time to pass anyway. So the boys start to train as Krepka runs into Lodio, who still has his badge and was able to get a random badge from another applicant. Krepka has an extra badge he offers to Luodio if he promises to help him in the next phase of the exam. Luodio doesn't want to take a handout, but with time running out, he agrees. Then the two go out to find one last badge for Luodio. At the end of the week, the boat once again arrives to pick up the surviving applicants. Hisoka boards the boat first with four badges easily passing phase four. Hanzo also boards the boat after easily collecting the target badge he was assigned. Next is Killua and Gon, who mainly because of Killua, have seven badges combined. As the boys strut onto the boat, Gon glares at Husoka, who only smiles in return. Next, Illumi arrives, having the two badges he needed, then Pockle and Bordon. The boat waits for anyone else, but it seems that everyone who, who passed has already boarded when finally, with only a few minutes to spare, Krapka and Luodio sprint for the boat with just enough tags to pass. Gon is the first to congratulate them for making it and also teases Luodio for almost making Kurapika late. But now, as time expires, the fourth phase is complete. Nethero congratulates the eight men for making it this far and tells them that only the final stage is ahead of them. They all cheer until he informs them that the last test will be a one-on-one -on -one tournament. The competitors wonder who they will be forced to fight, but everyone still believes they have a chance and are ready and eager to become hunters. Netero begins taking them to the Hunter Association headquarters where the tournament will take place. So be sure to subscribe so you can see when I post part 5 next week and the start of the final phase of the Hunter exam. Also, leave a like if you made it this far, and thanks for watching.